what you're reading? Uh, I was just uh, on my Bible app here, uh, reading. Uh, I've been re going back and reading the first five books of the Bible, just kind of trying to read through from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Because it's been a long time since I did that. And uh, just for fun, because I've been reading a lot of the Holman Christian uh, Standard Version yeah. and the, the ESV. And it's just been a long time since I read old King Jimmy, so King James Version. And going back and, and reading the Bible. And really? Reading. Yeah, well, Leviticus, you know, Numbers, they can, they can get kind of uh, dry. And sometimes. King James is less dry. Well, I mean, it. They say funny words and interesting old words. And you want to sound smarter, right? And okay, I, fair enough. I need that sometimes. Okay. So uh, <laughs> let, let me let me drop this on you real quick. See what Go you think it. about it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I was reading about Balaam. It says, "And God came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, that shalt thou do." And Balaam rose up in the morning, and he saddled his and went with the princes of Moab. And God's anger was kindled, because he went. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his and two servants were with him. Uh, and the saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And the turned aside out of the way and went into the field. And Balaam smote the Dude, are you hearing this? Yeah, I, I heard it. Say, say that again. All right. And Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the wind. What is going on? Why are we getting bleeped? I, I don't know. I'm, What's going on? I'm reading it right out of the Bible. Are you guys in here? What? What? The sensors are dropping the hammer. Drop the hammer on what? Why? Why? We can't say anything offensive or else it'll be either bleeped or blurred. Okay. It's the Bible. It's words from the Bible. He's just saying in the Bible. That's there it is again. I mean, it's just right here. KJV, Numbers 22. I don't Bible get it. app. I don't get it either. It's in context. I don't know, man. Those are the rules. So nothing offensive? We, we can't... Like I said, man, those are the rules. Oh, speaking of which... I'm not saying an actual uh, bad word. I'm just saying we can't say. Uh, this is ridiculous. I'm not even cussing anymore. And my me. I'm. What uh, is going on? This is ridiculous. Uh, 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 uh. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today our topic is a pretty serious one. It's this topic that I've, um, I think everybody kind of struggles with. You know, it's one of those things that I think no matter where you are in your Christian walk, it's something that's going to come up, either you're going to end up experiencing it, talking about it. I think it's actually one of those kind of big linchpin issues, especially for people who have just started their walk with Christ, you mm -hmm. know, and that's doubt. It's the big topic, doubt, you know. In Mark 9, a gentleman came up to Jesus and said, you know, Father, I do believe, but I need help to overcome my unbelief. That's right. You know, throughout the Bible, you're going to see instances where people doubted and what the Bible says about doubt, you know. And the fact is, there's two warring ideologies. There's a more um, Eastern world ideology, True. philosophy, that says, you know, Find your own truth, yes. figure things out for yourself. Um, and there's a more, you know, Western sensibility or something that's a little more rooted into Scripture, which is, you know, what is truth, discover what the truth is, and live by the truth of the yeah. Word of God. Um, Unfortunately, Western society has begun to more and more... Yeah, yeah, we're not getting into that, but just... The relativism of... People can kind of, you know, break it down, make Eastern it a little more simplistic, but... 
But, you know, there are different ideologies and different views when it comes to doubt. But what we want to tackle is what does the Bible say about doubt? That's right. Because I would, I would make the point that doubt is normal, yeah, but it, is. It, it does have its own issues. Everybody experiences it. Everybody experiences it. Yeah, that's it. That's fun. Um, so whether you're struggling with it, I hope we can, or maybe you, you have a full understanding with of it, I hope we can help you out. That's right. So, um, so if we look at some past philosophers, um, if you go back and study uh, Rene Descartes, he was a, a classical humanist and philosopher, he said, if you would uh, be a real seeker after truth, it is necessary that at least once in your life that you doubt, as far as possible, all things. This is similar to what Buddhism believes in that you should uh, doubt everything, find your own way, find your yeah. own light, through meditation, through um, you know, uh, throwing off the uh, outer uh, self by you know, yeah. going, becoming reclusive, maybe uh, getting rid of all your physical, um, uh, uh, what's the word, Th just things, material possessions. material possessions, that's what I was going for. Uh, I, I, Thanks for having my back. Wow. <laughs> and so, um, you, you see a lot of them uh, lead a life of asceticism where they throw yeah. everything off. It's a good word. Um, uh, taking the, oh, that was me compensating for <laughs> the, the brain <laughs> thing earlier. Uh, taking the advice of skeptics and false teachers, we'll see what the Bible has to say about this instead. In James chapter 1, verses 5 through 8, uh, it says that if we ask for God for wisdom... Uh, we should do it in faith without doubt yeah. because if uh, we ask in doubt, we're basically, uh, God says he's not going to give us anything because we're unstable yeah. on the inside. Um, uh, when we're faithful in our prayer and our time in God's word, he lets us know uh, where we need to be with him. He guides us down the road that he wants us, us to go down. And he basically, in multiple places in scripture, promises that if we're willing to head down the road in our life that he wants us to go if we follow according to his will yeah. he's going to provide all things to make us successful yeah. but ultimately if it's yeah. up to us then we run into problems yeah uh, you know ultimately the remedy for doubt is faith okay that's right um though doubt is normal you know people like to conflict you know that oh am i really saved is there mm -hmm. really a God? And I've gone through that. Am before. I really, you know, they, these are the kind of doubts that people have. You know, is Jesus real? Mm -hmm. You know, and it happens before you're a Christian. It can happen while you're a Christian. But we don't want you to think doubt is a good thing. Yeah. It happens. It but does. it's not a good place to be. You know, oftentimes when I, I would go through phases of doubt, it was when mm -hmm. I was either not in the Word. That's right. Or I had, you know, probably my... I don't know, I would say probably like the biggest experience I've had with doubt was when I just became a Christian. Like when I, I, you know, I had the most doubt because I had the least amount of faith. I was a babe in Christ. I didn't understand God's word. I didn't understand, what, you know, the experiences, you know, of God or the testimony of believers. I didn't know those things and I came to faith. And so, you know, I had to work out my salvation. That's right. You know, I had to work that out and that's normal. That's it normal. Is. You know, it's part but, of growing. Yeah, but remember, but you know, the cure for doubt, and you know, I feel pretty strongly saying this, is faith. And faith comes by hearing the word of God. That's right. Okay, the word of God, and through through the literal word, through the uh, through the word of God, through um, other believers. Right. You know what you hear on Sunday mornings. You know the. That, that 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 is you know us being edified. By so what you're hearing on Sunday mornings is the yeah Bible. yeah obviously that's a that's another episode. <laughs> but hopefully you got what you're hearing on Sunday mornings is straight from the Word of God. That is where we need to go to. You know that needs to be our anchor, and that's going to be that's going to be our remedy for doubt. That's why I want I want people to know that you know it happens. It's normal. Um, it's not, it's not a good place to stay, I guess is you what I want to say. You're going to be there sometimes, but you don't want to stay there. Yeah, it That's takes right. discipline to remove, to kind of overcome doubt. And that discipline comes by spending time in the Word of God That's right. and trusting in Him. Every time that I've beaten doubt, been able to beat doubt in my life, it's through looking at God's Word and seeing what He says yeah. and reminding myself of His truth, allowing Him to speak to me through His Word, yeah. and then praying about it and just being honest with God about how I feel, what I'm struggling with. And he always reassures me. And it might not be a 100% reassurance in that moment, 
but I know that over the next hours, days, I, I, I feel a strength. I, I see, yeah. you know, a difference. And, uh, you know, I, he does things. He literally will start to do things in my life that I see, and it builds my faith back up. And, and then a lot of times when your, your faith, as it builds, it kind of compounds on itself. Yeah. You're like, all right, well, I'm trying to, I'm willing to try something new and bold for Christ because I've seen him do things before yeah. and it really builds and doubt can kind of do the same thing. It can cause like that spiral effect mm -hmm. where because I'm doubting this, well, then what, if, is this true? Is this true? Is this okay? Yeah. And it can cause that downward spiral. Yeah. So. No, that's it. Doubt's a tool of the enemy. Take hold of that, what we just said, and, you know, get into God's Word, spend time with God. That's right. You know, really focus in on something, you know, when you're in front, when you're amongst believers, when you're um, there on Sunday mornings, you know, be edified. You know, God doesn't want you to stay in doubt. You know, He wants you to build you up. He wants you to live by faith. That's right. So, well, grab hold of that. We'll be, you know, please uh, like, subscribe. Comment, tell us what you thought. If you guys have any topics you want to go over, put them in the comment section. We look forward to keeping on doing this. That's right. Yeah. Y'all have a good time.